Hey, do you have some annoying background noise in your Audacity recording that you want to get rid of? Let's talk about it in this video as we explore the noise reduction tool within Audacity. Hey, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. Let's take just a few minutes and talk about how to use the noise reduction tool within Audacity. It's a tool that I use every time I edit or master a recording. In fact, it's one of the very first tools that I use in my editing process is the noise reduction tool. The video that you're about to see is actually from my Udemy course. It's lecture 24, which is offered for free there. It's a free preview on udemy.com. So to make it simpler, I thought I'd bring it over here and share it with you. I hope that you find it informative and valuable as we talk about the noise reduction tool. Let's get going. In this lesson, let's talk about a really valuable effect or a valuable tool within Audacity called the noise reduction tool. You know, sometimes we get ambient noise just in the room. We can get a little bit of hissing in the background. We can get, you know, just if there's an air conditioner running or a fan running or a heater running, we might get a little bit of a hum or a little bit of hissing in the background that's really low volume, but it can be kind of annoying. And so a tool within Audacity that is really useful in getting rid of those sounds is the noise reduction tool. So let's take a look. This audio track that I have open before us has a real low level fan noise in the background. That fan noise that's in the background is most audible, or you can hear it the best, at periods of time when I'm not talking in a track. But it's there in the entire track. It's underlying, it's an underlying noise on the entire track from beginning to end, as I had this fan noise running in the background, very low level, but it was there. So what I want to do is listen to this file, and you can hear the fan noise very low in the background, and you'll also see it in the meter toolbar as the file plays. It's hanging around down around a minus 50 to a minus 48 dB in the meter toolbar. And you'll see that visibly as the, again, as the file plays. So I'm going to press space bar and let's give this a listen. And then we'll come back and apply the noise reduction tool to it. As I'm recording this track, there's a real low level noise in the background. It's a fan noise. It simulates a fan running in the background as I'm talking. So I'm going to give this track some silence right here because we're going to need to be able to pick out the fan noise when we do our noise reduction on it. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Okay, so you heard the fan noise in the background. When I'm talking again, it's harder to hear, but it's still there. It's in the entire track. And once I start working on this track, if I do a loudness leveling on it, if I do normalization on it, if I do nor uh, compression on it, that fan noise is going to be amplified and it's going to get really distracting. So before we do any of that, let's apply the noise reduction tool and see if we can't eliminate that fan noise altogether. Now you probably noticed that I left a section of silence in there and I left it there on purpose. And here's why. Before I can apply the noise reduction tool, I need to tell Audacity what part of the track or what part of the waveform is the noise that I want to get rid of. So I need to select through the noise and then tell Audacity, I'm considering this noise and I want this gone. That's why I left that uh, blank spot in there of just the fan running so I'd have a few seconds. That's a really good practice to have when you're recording audio is somewhere in it, hopefully at the beginning, have a few seconds of silence because you never know what kind of background room noise. If you've got an overhead fan, got a heater running, got air conditioner running, whatever it is, you never know what kind of background noise might be in the room until you come back and listen to it. So it's always a good idea to have a couple of seconds of audio where no one's talking. It's just ambient room noise so that you can have something to work with when you're applying the noise reduction tool. Now let me show you something else here. I'm going to give you an error window here because I want you to be aware of this. If I go up to the effect menu, which is where we're going to find the noise reduction tool, and I come down to noise reduction and I click once on it, it comes up with this error and says you must first select some audio to perform this action. Now, what that's saying is Audacity needs to know what you consider noise. So I'm going to put my cursor right here. I'm going to push the space bar. Let's listen to some noise. That's some good noise right there. Now I'm going to select a couple of seconds of that noise. And this time I'm going to go back up to my effect 
drop down menu, and I'm going to select noise reduction. And this time, when I select noise reduction, it actually opens up the noise reduction window. Now, noise reduction in Audacity is a two step process. First of all, again, I have to tell Audacity this is the noise. And then the second step is I have to tell Audacity here's how I want you to remove that particular noise. So, right now, in step one there, it says select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. Then click Get Noise Profile. And so that's what we're going to do. And it's important that when you are selecting those couple of seconds of audio to let Audacity know what you consider noise, that you're not selecting any voice in that. You're not selecting anyone speaking. You're just selecting an area of noise. And so again, I can't overstress having a couple of seconds of just ambient silence, room noise in your recording so that if there is background noise, you can go get rid of it. So right now we're going to click on Get Noise Profile and that's telling, that is telling Audacity, this is what I consider noise. So I'm going to click once on it. Nothing happened, but it took a sample of what I have highlighted and now Audacity knows this is noise. Now what do you want to do with it? Now before I do anything else, I need to come down and select the entire track. I'm just going to click in the track header because I want to apply noise reduction to the whole track in this instance. You can also apply noise reduction to a section of a track if you want to do it that way. You don't have to select the entire track. If you've only got a little piece of the track that's got noise in it, you can do noise reduction on that piece of the track. I want to do it on the whole track for the sake of this course and of this lecture, so I selected the entire track. Now I'm going to come back up to the Effect drop-down window, and I'm going to click once more on Noise Reduction. And this time I'm going to go to Step 2. And in Step 2, these are the settings that i found work best for me. Now that I've selected all the audio that I want the noise filtered out of, now I need to tell Audacity how to filter it. Well, first of all, I want to reduce this noise by 12 dB. That's going to put it somewhere down around the minus 60 range, which really isn't even going to be heard anymore. As far as sensitivity goes, I like to keep it at 6. I found that if I move that lower or if I move that higher, it does funny things to the rest of my waveform. When I click OK on this, if I see any big movements or any big changes in the way my waveform looks, I may want to go back and reset these settings and toy with them a little bit until I get a better setting that doesn't affect my entire waveform. I've had to play with this some, but this is what I've landed on. I use a sensitivity of 6 and frequency smoothing bands I use 3. Those are different audio bands that you're telling Audacity to use in order to reduce this noise. So again, 12 dB noise reduction, sensitivity of 6.0, frequency bands I use 3, and I tell it to reduce noise. Now I can hit the preview button and I can hear a little bit of this at the beginning to see if it does it. So let's do that. As I'm recording this track, there's a real low level noise in the background. It's a fan. So it previewed a couple of a uh, couple of seconds of the of the file and the audio still sounded really good and I didn't hear any fan noise in it. So I'm going to press OK and when I press OK, I'm going to keep a close eye on that waveform. It might change a little bit. I might see it kind of manipulate it just a little, and that's okay. But if I get big fluctuations in it, I need to reset probably my noise reduction. So I'm going to click OK, and let's watch that waveform, and let's watch that fan noise disappear. So the waveform changed a little bit. Before, in this section right here, we had a lot of fan noise. Let's listen again and see if it's still there. because we're going to need to be able to pick out the fan noise. So it's basically gone. I'm going to skip back to the beginning here. I'm going to push play again and listen to a little bit more of the audio. As I'm recording this track, there's a real low level noise in the background. It's a fan noise. It simulates a fan running in the background as I'm talking. So I'm going to give this track some silence right here. Okay, that's good. It got rid of the fan noise. Remember that fan noise? was actually in the voice section of the waveform as well. It's just that my voice covered it up, and now it's gone completely. And it's gone completely because I applied noise reduction to it. And again, depending on the kind of noise that you're trying to remove, you might have to play with those settings just a little bit until you find out what works for you.
So that's a look at the noise reduction tool within Audacity. In the next lecture, let's talk about fade-ins and fade-outs in our podcast. Hey, I hope you found that information valuable and helpful for you. Don't forget that you can visit me online anytime by going to audacitybootcamp.com. I'll have links to that site in the description below, and there's also a link in the header above, as well as links to my Udemy course, of which the video you just watched is, is part of. Hey, if you like what's going on here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notify button so that you never miss an episode. Until next time.